The ninth city of El Paso will be under state of emergency. Mayor Oscar Leeser announcing today ahead of expiration of Title 42 in just 11 days. Good evening, I'm Carla Draxler and thank you so much for joining us. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto was at the press conference today and she breaks down how the city is preparing for the unexpected influx of migrants in less than two weeks. Mayor Oscar Leeser says that they are getting prepared for what they are calling the unknown for when Title 42 ends in less than two weeks. Leeser also says that they are not opening the borders, nor are the borders open today, or will they be opening come May 11th for everyone. May 1st, I am declaring a state of emergency in our community. And the reason why we're declaring a state of emergency is to make sure that we can stand up and be prepared for May 11th, May 12th, to uh, have public shelter and public housing. And this is called, this is really temporary housing. Mayor Leeser says this is to give shelter to those that have gone through the proper process. The state of emergency will go on for seven days and then we'll head on to the city council. It will be ratified and then moved on for a 30 day approval. Um, and I will have the opportunity and the ability to always continue to do a 30 day emergency sheltering or an emergency declaration for the city of El Paso. Lisa says these migrants are not coming to El Paso, they're just passing through. We will help and we will make sure that all our asylum seekers are treated with dignity and respect. Adding that they do not want migrants camping in the streets anymore. Asking them to break down their campsites. We're asking the public not to drop donations in the streets. Take your donations to NGOs, to the food bank, to their churches. They, they're, they're capable of receiving these and they'll make sure they get it to those in need. Once again, Mayor Leeser's state of emergency goes into effect at 1201 May 1st and will be in effect for the next seven days. Now for more information, we have an article over at KTSM.com. Reporting in downtown El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.